December 15th, Today's Scripture And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Luke 2, verse 13 and 14, the New International Version. Today's guide. When preparing for today, think about the following. Finding peace, joy, and healing in this season. Food for thought. Today's scripture is a powerful reminder of the divine presence and the profound effect it can have on our lives. In the midst of this proclamation, the essence of healing and peace resonates. The words glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased encapsulates the promise of healing and restoration that God brings into our lives. In the context of healing, this scripture speaks to a profound truth. The divine presence and favor bring about transformative peace that heals our deepest wounds. Whether physical, emotional, or spiritual, God's healing power extends to all facets of our being. The heavenly host's proclamation signifies a divine intent for peace, not just in the heavens, but also here on earth, touching the lives of those who wholeheartedly believe in God. God's healing power isn't just about physical ailments. It delves into the very core of our existence, addressing the brokenness, the pain, and the unrest we might harbor. It's a soothing balm for the wounded soul, a guiding light for the lost, and a profound reassurance for those seeking solace and restoration. The message from this scripture invites us to open our hearts to this healing presence and to be receptive to the peace and restoration that God offers. It's a call to embrace faith and allow God's transformative power to work within us. Through prayer, meditation, and a profound connection with God, we open ourselves to the healing grace that flows from God. This scripture's essence teaches us to trust in the promise of healing, to have faith in the divine presence of God and the peace and restoration He brings. It's a reminder that God's healing power knows no bounds and is accessible to all who seek it. Gratitude. In times of struggle, finding gratitude might seem challenging, but today's scripture offers a path to discover and nurture gratitude in our lives. Here are a couple of prompts to guide you in finding gratitude, even in difficult times. Reflect on blessings. Take a moment to reflect on the blessings in your life. No matter how small they may seem, consider the people, experiences, or moments that bring joy, comfort, or support. Embrace the present. Amidst challenges, focus on the present moment. Recognize the beauty in the ordinary or a moment of peace. Connect with others. Share and connect with those around you. Engage in conversations. Share stories and express appreciation for the presence of others in your life. Sometimes the act of sharing gratitude can amplify its presence in your heart. Remember, gratitude isn't about denying hardships, but about finding strength and positivity despite them. Even in the most challenging moments, cultivating gratitude can transform our perspective, leading to a more fulfilled life. Today's prayer. Father, what a day it had to be in heaven. The day the journey began to restore the relationship, unfettered with humanity through the birth of Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. I am grateful. Amen.